Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna be taking a look at quite a few things here. One, where's the stock market gonna go? Are we gonna see a stock market crash in 2022 or are we gonna see more green ahead? And more importantly, what do the big wigs on Wall Street think? This is the big money out there. They gave their predictions. We're gonna review them and put it all together as well as take a look at the Apple stock price prediction. It's a review. I did this months and months and months ago and I took a lot of heat for my prediction because it was very bullish. We're going to re, uh, re-evaluate that and take a look because I actually bought some leap options that have done very well since then. A little, a little primer to where you think this may go. So before we get into it, of course, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button below. Get, take advantage of the Moomoo link down here. You can get uh, deposit $100 using my link only and you will get a free share of Lucid worth around $39 a share right now. That's 39 bucks on 100 that easy. It's one of the best ways to do it. And of course, you can get up to five free stocks worth up to 3500 each depending on how much you deposit all right now we move over to the gemini link i love this if you haven't done this take advantage of it click on that link down below the video uh, trade $100 or more in Gemini and you will get uh, up to, what do we get, $20 in free Bitcoin and they have sandbox crypto over there. It's my metaverse play. Uh, I, obviously, this is something I've, I feel pretty passionate about with uh, sandbox. I believe it's going to do well moving forward. It's not at Coinbase, not at Webull, not at Robinhood. I believe once they add it there, you're gonna see this thing have a nice little pop. So I do recommend taking advantage of this. And then we move into the portfolios for those that are watching. We're gonna take a look at the first one is the, the VOO. This is up 0.43%. The weekly aggressive down 3.17. And of course, we're going to take a look at the conservative up 2.66. It says Goldman Sachs. Uh, the aggressive had, uh, what, what do we have in there? Tesla in there. And then uh, YouTube, crypto, Ethereum at this point up 1.08% since I've been making this video. Now, I'm sure by the time tomorrow's over, which we will review these again, and we're going to add a new position weekly to all of these for $100 a piece. For those who are looking for someone to follow and see how I'm doing this, I'm picking these. And I'm going to uh, dollar cost average in over a year, uh, putting $100 a week into each of these. Depending on your style, you can go for it and have a little fun. The bi biggest thing is just make sure you start investing. Uh, it helps you get closer to that financial freedom you're looking for at the end of the whole working career. Now, take a look at the S&P 500. Uh, look where we're at, 47.93. This leads us into the first little part of this segment. Where will the stock market end by the end of 2022? Some people see a crash, some people see more gains, and it's hard to answer. Now, last year we did nail it. Uh, we said 15 to 20% up. The market actually ended up, if we take a look at the year, up over 28%. We did well, and I did a lot of triple leverage plays that came through for us as well and made a ton of money. Like I said, for those who filed yesterday's video, over 80, well, I think it was 81, $82,000 up in the triple leverage portfolio. I still have yet to liquidate it. I might be doing that today, but 81,000 or $82,000 up on that alone. Woo, the first two trading days of January actually made me, I think it was another 14K, so it was crazy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the the analysts out on Wall Street, what they think is gonna to happen to the S&P 500, the overall gauge of the American economy. And Credit Suisse right now has the most bullish at 5,200. Remember, we are at 4,800 roughly right now. So they would see a, a gain of around uh, 400 points. You're looking at, what are we gonna say, about seven, eight, eight percent, nine percent, roughly nine percent. So they see the market going up nine percent. So Goldman Sachs sees it at 5,100. So we'll say seven to eight percent there. JP Morgan, 50-50, uh, same with RBC. So there you're seeing it dropping down. Deutsche Bank, 5,000. Citigroup, 4,900. Barclays sees it at 4,800. So there are your major brokerages to see it either even or up. And then we move into Bank of America that sees it dropping 200 points down to 4,600. And Morgan Stanley out there seeing it drop more than 400 points, around 400 points off the current price, down to 4,400. Uh, we'll find out if that is what's gonna happen or
or not. Now, personally, I thought we'd go anywhere from zero to 5%, maybe a little bit more, uh, depending. Uh, like I said, we'll see where this goes. I could see it going up two to 300 points by year's end. I think the, the economy's strong. The growth's still there. We have a lot of money still floating in the system. I know we have some downward stuff, though. I know, uh, I know the Fed rates are going to be going up. I know student loans. I think it was May. They're going to have to start paying. That's going to take billions out of the economy monthly. Uh, there's a lot of issues out there I'm still watching. At the end of the day, I think this slows it down tremendously, but I don't think it stops the overall uh, positivity of the S&P 500. So we'll say zero to 5% on that by the end of this year. Like I said, I thought 2022 was gonna be a rough year compared to 2021, and I still, I still believe that, I still believe. I still believe there's money to be made, and it depends on what sectors we're getting into, which ones we're taking advantage of. We've rotated nicely in a lot of plays back in 2021, but now we gotta make sure we're doing our due diligence and getting in the right place for 2022. Now, let's go ahead and talk about one of the stocks that a lot of people are discussing, Apple. Apple stock price prediction I threw out. I got a little video here I'm not gonna actually play it but it was from back in April 28th April 28th we're, we're talking eight nine months ago I did a video on this and I bought leap options at the same time and I bought all kinds of stuff and so when I got into those leap options my price target for this stock at this time uh, was $221 by summer of 2023 221. I go through this whole video and talk about it, uh, but I got a lot of heat because the stock was trading at 133 and I thought it could go up almost $90 within the next two years, two years and some odd months. And I remember all the heat I got about that. There's no way Apple's going to go up that high and how much that company would be worth. And a lot of t people tell me it's going to go sub 100. And, but I did, I bought the stocks, I bought leap options, and I only buy leap options for the ones I think are really gonna have a good opportunity to get up there. It doesn't guarantee it, but you know, I think they have an opportunity to do that. And you can see where Apple's price is right now, 179.70. I did this video eight, nine months ago, it was 133. So we're up about $46 on that. The leap option is up over a hundred and something percent. I'm loving it, it's crushing it. My goal is to see it get to 221 by the summer of 20. 23 that would net me over six thousand some odd dollars in profit off of that leap option we're right on target we're actually ahead of target and then uh, i wanted to share the analysts right here they on the on tip ranks and these are wall street's analysts and this is nine months ago they had an average price of this of 156 and so we can fast forward over here and you can see they don't have it at 156 anymore eight nine months later they now have it at 176 they upped it by 20 dollars over the next 12 months uh, they see it on a 1.6 percent down downward but if we actually go look at some of the recent ones over the last two days wedbush evercore isi 200 200 citigroup 200 morgan stanley 200 bank of america 210 this is over the next 12 months to finish this year out I love that because I do believe in the next six months after that, it could have uh, that get up to that 221 that I had it at by the summer of 2023. So this, I think is low, and I still think there's a 20, this stock can make 20% this year. Uh, we'll see, like I said, it had a big run, but my goal, uh, like I said, was still summer of 2023 was to see this stock at 221 or higher that was my conservative approach aggressively i thought it could actually have even a higher price now one other thing i want to talk about apple in this episode obviously i found this article is pretty cool talking about apple pre post santa uh, christmas how to do two weeks before and it's pre it was down 1.33 is usually how it does the two weeks going into christmas the two weeks after Christmas, since the early 1990s, Apple has returned 4.83% post the 25th. And we can take a look to see how did Apple do the post Christmas here. You can see the last day was right here and it is up 1.94%. And uh, we're closing in on that two week mark. So I thought that was pretty neat, neat to see that and talk about how Apple was doing and I I think I have it here somewhere. Here it is. And we can take a look at the market. The market usually goes up 0.54 before, 0.80 the two weeks after. And we know the S&P 500 
the two weeks after is doing pretty well, uh, 1.57. So it's kind of, you know, learn about history when it comes to the stock market. Uh, and maybe you can profit from some of the things we learn from that history. I feel pretty good about Apple. Like I said, I'm going to continue to have that leap option. I'm watching it. I could cash it in now and take a substantial profit. I'm going to try to hold it and we'll see what happens. I'm going to hold it. If I can get it up to that year uh, and get that long-term capital gains rate, that saves me some money. And Apple's a solid play. So uh, right now it looks like I'll be holding the leap option on for a while, if not even adding some additional Apple stock on. The Apple stock price has been very nice to us and uh, I think it's going to continue. And I'm, I'm curious to see how this whole EV play is going to you know play out with apple and seeing where that's going to go so there's a lot of positives for apple as we move forward so that's my update for today if you haven't done it get that free share of lucid from mumu the link's right below the video and uh, you deposit a hundred dollars more you'll get a 39 dollars. i think it'll be a lot more by the end of this year but 39 dollars in free stock there that is one of the best opportunities out there and the gemini link check that one out Trade $100 or more, get $20 in free Bitcoin, and they have Sandbox over there. And if you haven't done it, check out Tip Ranks. I got that link down there. Coinbase, where you can get uh, some free Bitcoin just for doing the email ID verification. BlockFi, where you can get up to 250 in free Bitcoin, hitting certain deposit levels. And of course, come over and check out my Patreon. That's where I got all my portfolios. I got a lot of good things over there. We got a private Discord with thousands of members. I just started up two Patreon-only $100 a week portfolios, and one's going to be community run the other ones I'm gonna be selecting stocks it's awesome as well as of course my overall portfolio and all my buys and sells in the crypto I do recommend coming over and joining us we got a lot of good things going on over there and I expect a good positive community like that can only help you so I do appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money